Hey, I hope we're doing okay this evening. Just a quick word on um on action. How I believe that many times we have been deprived of producing desirable outcomes in our lives because of inactivity. And what I mean by inactivity is that we may have a belief about something. We may believe that we are capable of producing a desirable result in our life. Or we may also believe that God is also capable of using us to get to a particular destination or to, to fulfill a particular objective in our lives. But the reason why we have failed to manifest certain things in our lives is because there's been inactivity and I was reading the story of uh, of the children of Israel in the book of Numbers where God told Moses to send out 12 princes from the 12 tribes and they had to go into the promised land and they had to scout the land and they came back and they gave an evil report and they saw the giants and they were discouraged and how all of them gave an evil report so much so that everybody else in the, in the children of Israel were persuaded by this evil report and how God had actually uh, separated only two of these men, uh, Caleb and Joshua, because these were the only men that actually believed that God was capable of bringing them into their promises. Now, one thing I learned about Caleb is that Caleb said, let us go up at once and claim the land. So Caleb didn't just have a belief. Caleb didn't just have faith that God was going to do what seemed impossible to them and that he would use them to conquer these mighty giants. But Caleb also believed that it was absolutely necessary for them to move immediately and to claim that land. And that is what God is saying to us today. God is saying that, look, I know you have the belief, but where is the action? I know that I've called you to build this ministry, but where is the action? The action needs to, to begin today. Belief doesn't produce results. Action produces results. Obviously, belief comes first. You believe that maybe one day you're going to become a successful footballer. So what do you do? You begin to train. And then as you train over a period of time and you hone in on your skills and you gain more confidence and you gain mastery in that particular uh, aspect of, of sport, then what happens? You start to produce results and then those results pr produce more faith and more belief. And then that belief produces more action and then that action produces more results. This is how successful footballers begin their career. Like Cristiano Ronaldo from a young age, he believed that he was going to be the best but that belief did not make him the best it it was it was foundational it was important but the most important aspect was his training the most important aspect was his action so god is saying i'm calling you for a ministry but what about that person in the shop that i told you to tell him about jesus what about that family member who you know needs jesus at this moment in time what about the neighbour? I've told you the spirit has come upon you several times. You've been convicted. And then every single day, you're like, God, give me more boldness. God, give me more faith. God, you're just praying like, God, give me faith to do this. You've already got the faith. God has given you the faith, but there needs to be action. That is why God loved Peter, for instance. Not only did Peter believe and know that God could use him to walk on the water, but he's, he did it. He started walking on the water. He could have stayed on the boat and be like, yeah, you know what? I'm sure, you know, in an alternate reality, I can, I can walk on the water and that would be fine. He didn't wait. He just did it. He, he moved immediately and he was able to produce the results. And the same thing begins to happen in our lives. We talk, somebody says, oh, you're going to become a, a famous healer. What about the people that you see in your family? They've, you know, they've got their cripples. What about the people that have got broken ankles? Do you lay hands on them? Do you try and produce the results? Because the, those, that is what anointed means. Anointed means to be somebody who's available for action, for action. Some of us are crying out to God for more anointing. The anointing comes when you're ready for action. The anointing comes when you're ready to evangelize. The anointing comes when you're ready to do the work that God has already promised you to do. And that actually needs to begin today. Paul, it said, and straight away, he preached the gospel that Jesus was Christ. And they were confounded. They said, is this not the man that came to Damascus for the cause of persecuting the Christians? 
Paul could have said, oh, I need to go to, uh, I need to go back to Jerusalem. Let me go to, um, let me go to Bible school. <laughs> let me go to Bible school and do this. And again, I have nothing wrong with Bible school at all. But what I loved about Paul is that there were no excuses. There were no delays. There were no, there was no tarrying. You see a lot of delay in, in our life. We can blame it on Satan, but sometimes we need to, we need to actually reflect and sit back and ask how much of this delay that I'm going from, has it got to do with my own inact inactivity? And that is why you see men in the Bible, countless of men who at the age of 30 began mighty ministries because they were, they had, they had a track record of producing action and results and action and results from a young age look at david david becomes king of of israel at 30 why because there was a track record he defeated the bear he defeated the lion he defeated goliath he was a leader of 400 men he he was an armor bearer he did he did number of different things so when the time came that god needed somebody to rise up amongst these people he said who shall i choose the person that had the track record the person that had a record of producing results when you apply for a job who who do they want to uh, who do they want to hire the person that has the results the person that has been active that's why you apply for a job and they say what have you been doing in the last five years and if often if you haven't done anything in the last five years they kind of see that as a red flag. Could it be that this is the same way that God hires people in his kingdom? God examines activity? Because people, when we hear of names, preachers, pastors, and they just, in our perspective, they just rise. There's been a continual track record. They got saved. Then they were in the campus, in that university, they were preaching there. Then they got back home and they were preaching there and they've been continually preaching and it may seem to us that they've just risen out of the blue but in God's eyes there has been continual action. Remember results can only come not through faith, not through mere belief but through action. So ask yourself this even, what action are you taking to produce the results, to produce the promises that God has in his words?